those of you that were here, I mentioned a statistic and thought it would be interesting to bring up again. For those of you that don't know, I taught high school math for 10 years, so sometimes I look at dorky statistics. But I found this amazing to think about. These students met the last two Fridays and for a short time yesterday morning. When you crunch the numbers, it works out to about 130 minutes per song, or just over two hours. So imagine if someone gave you a task and said you have just over two hours to get a performance ready. Think about that statistic and what you just heard from the choir and what you will hear from the band. I think that speaks volumes to what our local band and choir directors do and these two guest conductors and what they've done for the preparation of these students. Speaking of these great directors, at this time, I, excuse me, at this time, we would like to introduce all of our local band and choir directors. Their expertise and guidance has helped students realize their abilities in the area of music. Please stand and remain standing as we say your names, and please hold your applause to the end. At Columbus Grove, we have band director Matt Blymeyer, choir director and assistant band director Kristen Berhoff, and assistant choral director Carla Wyatt. At Continental, Band and Choir Director Dan Smaller. At Fort Jennings, Band and Choral Director Dan Basinger. At Kaleida, Band Director Jacob Lipmuller. And Choral and Choir and Assistant Band Director Mary Glegg. At Lipsick, Band Director Andrew Stein. And Choral Director Ashley Klein. <laughs> At Miller City, New Cleveland, Band Director Rob Lucas and Choral Director Jennifer Keeler. At Ottawa Glandorf, Choral Director Ted Ellerbrock, and Band Director Doug Olenek. At Ottawa, Band and Choral Director Asha Koenig, and Assistant Kent Burt. And at Pandora Gaboa, Band Director Erica Lucas, and Choral Director Kelly Ortiz. It's always hard to say goodbye, so we are going to pause for a moment and offer our congratulations to one of our local teachers that will be retiring this year, Mrs. Carla Wyatt. Carla was born and raised a Bulldog and then returned to teach for over 34 years at Columbus Grove. During her tenure, she was able to help bring back the junior high mixed chorus, start a fifth and sixth grade show choir, she's been director and assistant director for numerous musicals, began the annual Cabaret Dinner Theater, and many other numerous performances for her grandparents and the community. Carla and her husband Michael have three children and five grandchildren, which she claims are the reason she's finally retired. <laughs> she states that her ultimate achievements are the students at Columbus Grove that have consistently performed well on stage, in the public, and at contests. She wants to thank everyone for allowing her to do what she loves share her love of music with the students at Columbus Grove and all of Putnam County. Thank you so much, Carla, for all that you've done. And I know Dr. Peterson had already mentioned this, but I do want to mention again, Carolyn McDaniel, who has served as our accompanist for now four years in a row. In addition to being here today, she's been here at all three rehearsals, and she does a great job making them part of what they are. We have just a few more people we need to recognize. We'd also like to extend our thank you to Dr. Jan Osborne, Putnam County Superintendent of Schools, as well as the Putnam County ESC Governing Board for their support of this unique educational experience. Further thanks are extended to Mrs. Deb Schrader, Curriculum Secretary at the Putnam County Educational Service Center, who retired in January. Deb has done much of the behind-the-scenes details to get ready for today's event, and we appreciate all of the hard work she has done for the past 30 years. Appreciation is also extended to Bluffton University for allowing us to hold rehearsals on their campus the past two Fridays. In addition to using their music facilities, their staff and students also arranged for classrooms for their rehearsals. Special recognition goes to Jody Diller, 
the secretary in Bluffton's music department for all of her hard work in helping plan the facilities accordingly. Our guest band conductor today is Mr. Charles Myers. Mr. Myers retired in 2003 after serving 30 years as the band and choir director at Kaleida High School. During his time at Kaleida, the band made 21 appearances at the state finals, earning 12 overall superior ratings. Under his direction, the Kaleida band also performed in parades at Niagara Falls, Philadelphia, the Kentucky Derby, and Walt Disney World. He has been an active marching band adjudicator since 1991 and has adjudicated state finals since 1997. Myers resides in Ottawa with his wife, Beth, where he is the choir director of the Ottawa Presbyterian Church and plays in the Defiance Community Band. Both he and his wife were part of the steering committee that founded Putnam County Habitat for Humanity in 2009. The Myers have three adult sons, all of whom participated in the Putnam County Honors Band like these students here today. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you Mr. Charles Myers and the Putnam All-County Band. Washington, and 
I was doing some research on him, I was like, oh really? If you're as old as I am, which is in your 60s or older, you'll probably remember this. Cesar Giovannini was the music director for the old television show, Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. I've seen a couple of people, I remember that one, yeah. Um, he has five compositions for concert band, and this is the last one. Um, and Cesar just passed away this past March, a year ago. So uh, this is Corella Capriccio by Cesar Giovannini.
from the band, we would like to recognize the four-year county band participants with a plaque. These students have dedicated their time and effort to the concert each of the past four years. So when I call your name, please come forward to receive your plaque. We have Emily Neese from Miller City, New Cleveland. <laughs> Hannah Schimler from Miller City, New Cleveland. <laughs> Jordan Brett. From Ottawa Glandorf. <laughs> Catherine Walker from Pandora Galboa. <laughs> Conrad Fagan from Pandora Galboa. Jane Pierce from Pandora Galboa. <laughs> Carrie Burkhart from Pandora Galboa. <laughs> and also from Pandora Galboa, we have Brianna Jarrett. Congratulations to our four-year county band participants. I told the students at the first rehearsal, especially the ones from Kaleida and some of the other schools as well, I said, I probably taught a lot of your parents. <laughs> and if I taught your grandparents, I don't want to know. <laughs> Um, I, these kids have been great. I have had just a blast working with them. Um, I want to point out something about the next piece that we're going to play, Elegy for the USS Arizona. Um, the title of the piece actually speaks for itself as to what the piece is about. But I'm doing this today in memory of four longtime Putnam County band directors who have passed away in the last 15 months. Ray Shinneberry started, he, he taught in Perry and Bath, and then for a while at Columbus Grove, and then for a long time at the end of his career at Audeville before he retired in 1981. Um, Ken Shorgen started his teaching career at Continental before moving to Ottawa Glendorf and was the longtime assistant band director. I always think of Ken every time I hear the OG band play their fight song, because they're still playing Ken's arrangement of that. Um, all three of my sons took piano lessons from Ken as well. Uh, Fred Nordhaus started his teaching career uh, at Kaleida, then he went to Bluffton and Wapkineta before coming back to Otto Landor for the last oh, 12 or so years of his career at OG before he retired. And Bob Montooth was a long time, did his entire career at Columbus Grove from 19, oh boys, like 68 to 98-ish, around in there. Um, I really felt strongly that you know, all four of these men were, were colleagues and friends. Uh, so this is in their memory. <laughs>
Jim Swearingen. Jim Swearingen is also an Ohio native. He was the uh, band director at Grove City High School for 14 years. Built a fabulous program down there before becoming the director of instrumental music education at Capital University, where he is now the director emeritus. Um, I've mentioned something about all the music libraries in the county probably having some Carl King. I bet you they got a whole bunch of Jim Swearingen too. Um, some very great educational pieces. Um, this next piece is patriotic in nature. Um, it will be pretty self-explanatory. You'll, you'll figure it out. Um, but I have asked a guest soloist to be a part of the band for this. Charlie Becker um, has a graduated from Ottawa Glendorf, music education degree from um, Bluffton College, and, and um, then went on. He taught for a few years, but then enlisted in the United States Army Band program, and where he played for 22 years all over the United States and twice in Germany, right? Um, so anyway, um, Charlie currently is um, plays in the um, Lyman Area Concert Band, the Defiance Community Band, um, the Al Best Band, um, Night Help Me, Night, what is it? Whatever it is. Uh, plus he does a solo gig, so he probably is, his greatest achievement is he was a life member of the Village Idiots. So, um, so please welcome our guest soloist and their narrator, Charlie.
1961, John F. Kennedy proclaimed, let every nation know, whether it wishes us well or ill, that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardships, support any friend, oppose any foe, to assure the survival and the success of liberty. This much we pledge, and more. This afternoon, the colors are presented by Post 715 of the Fort Jennings American Legion Post. The band and choir will be performing a combined selection, Salute to America's Finest. When you hear your service song played, or if any of your family members is played, please stand. States Army. States Navy. Marine Corps.
States Air Force. shared their professional knowledge with the students and guided them throughout this outstanding performance. Please join me in recognizing these conductors and showing our appreciation for all they have done for us. March is Music in Our Schools Month. Just a few months ago in December, an article was published showing the results of a study that Google concluded. They have been focusing on hiring only employees with strong STEM skills, science, technology, engineering, and math. But after doing a lot of research, they found that the top three most important skills for good employees include being a good coach to others, communicating and listening well, and possessing insights into others all of which are skills that are supported in cultural events such as the one that you saw today. The Putnam County Arts Festival is a unique avenue for the combination of the, our nine public school districts in the county to spotlight not testing, not athletics, but the creative arts. If you had enjoyed this afternoon of entertainment, please thank your home administrators, board members, music directors, and art teachers, for without their support and dedicated work, we could not continue to do this each year. Thank you for coming and showing your support as well. Remember to check out the artwork on display before you leave, and we hope to see you again next year at Kaleida, when they will serve as the host for the Putnam County Arts Festival on March 10th, 2019. Thank you.